Alexandra, John and Mary were planning to go to Bishan Park to relax today. They decided to meet at Alexandra's void deck in Cha Cha before taking a bus later. Hi! As they were walking, they suddenly spotted a family of wild boars in the grass patch in front of them. Look, a family of wild boars! Oh look, they are little piglets too. <gasps> they look so adorable. I think they seem rather friendly. I would really, really love to pet these babies. The three children, with their hands out and cooing to the animals, started approaching them slowly. Suddenly, a dark, a dark wild boar became more aware of his intruder's presence and started charging aggressively towards them. Freeze! When you encounter a wild boar, what should you do? When you encounter a wild boar, you should keep calm and move slowly away from the animal. Keep a safe distance and do not corner the animal. Wild boar mothers are very protective of their piglets and will attack if provoked or feel threatened. Rewind! As they were walking, they suddenly spotted a family of wild boars in the grass patch in front of them. Look, a family of wild boars! Oh look, they are little piglets too. They look so adorable. I think although they look rather tame, we should not alarm them. After all, they are wild animals and they might suddenly attack us. The children decided to move quietly away from the wild boars and continue their way. Scene 2. Action. The children took a public bus and soon reached the Bishan Amokyo Park. It has been a long ride. I think I need to stretch my legs. I know. Can we take a walk inside the park? I have heard that there are some smooth coated otters seen in the area. Cool, let's go! Soon, the children reached an area in the park where there were people watching silently. In the far side of the pond, a family of smooth coated otters could be seen playing in the water. The family of otters moved confidently from water to land, seemingly not afraid of humans. Look, they are so cute. See, they are not afraid of us. They are so close. Some leftover food from just now. I can let them have it. So cool. They are so close and I can take a really nice photo of them and post it on social media later. Hmm, the lighting here is not so good. I think I have to use the flash. Suddenly, the flesh seemed to have agitated the otters. With an angry squeaking, the otters started to move very quickly towards the children. Freeze! What are some of the do's and don'ts when you encounter an otter? When you see otters, do not touch, chase or attempt to go near the otters. Do not talk loudly and use flash photography as it may frighten them. Also, do not feed the otters as they have their own food in the environment. The natural feeding habits will help to keep the ecosystem healthy. Rewind! Soon, the children reached an area in the park where there were people watching silently. In the far side of the pond, a family of smooth coated otters could be seen playing in the water. The family of otters moved confidently from water to land, seemingly not afraid of humans. Look, they are so cute. See? They are not afraid of us. They are so close. But I can let them have it. No, Alex. We should not be giving them food. They can hunt for fish on their own. Besides, our food may cause them to be ill. I guess you're right. So cool. They are so close and I can take a really nice photo of them and post it on social media later. Hmm, the lighting here is not so good. I think I have to use the flash. No, John. You cannot use the flash. It will frighten them. Mm, I guess you're right. I'll just appreciate them quietly. The children spent some time in the park, all the watching, before deciding to head over to Mary's home in Bukit Panjang. Scene 3 Action! Wow, Mary, I did not know the area surrounding your home is so beautiful. You could see the farm from across the expressway. Well, yes, I have a product of people spotting some long-tailed macaques here, but I have never... 
In front of the three children were three long-term macaques. They looked at the plastic bags that the children were holding curiously, seeming to assess them. Oh look, you silly monkey. There's no bananas in here. It's only my water bottle. Got it? They are totally harmless. I think I have some red left over from just now. Um, I don't think they look very friendly. Go away! All of a sudden, one of the long-term macaques suddenly screeched loudly and snatched the plastic bag from John. The children, frightened, screamed at the top of their lungs and ran. Freeze! Can you think of some of the things that the children should not be doing? Rewind! Wow, Mary, I did not know the area surrounding your home is so beautiful. You could see the forest from across the expressway. Well, yes, I have heard of people spotting some long-tailed macaques here, but I have never... In front of the three children were three long-tailed macaques. They looked at the plastic bags that the children were holding curiously, seeming to assess them. Are they looking at my plastic bag? Do you think I should give them my serum so they will not bother us? No, you should not. I heard that if they are used to human contact, they will get aggressive when they don't get their food. Let's move back slowly without turning our backs. The children backed off slowly until the long tail macaques were out of sight. It had been an adventure for them, seeing so many wildlife animals in our urban Singapore today. I hope all of you have enjoyed our skit performance. Here's a summary of what we should do when we encounter the wildlife in our urban Singapore. This way, human and wildlife can coexist and live together harmoniously. When you encounter any wild animals, observe them quietly from a safe distance. Do not get too near to wild animals as it may alarm them and they may attack you. Also, we should also not use flash photography as it might frighten them. When the animals notice you, stay calm and move back slowly without turning your backs at them. Lastly, do not feed the wild animals as they have their own food in the environment. The natural feeding habits will help to keep the ecosystem healthy. Furthermore, we can learn more about our local biodiversity by visiting them in our Singapore Nature Reserves. Do spend some time to visit them when you're free. With that, we have come to the end of our performance. One, two, one, two three. Thank you!